Airless spray equipment produce very high pressure. Extreme care must be taken when operating. Welcome to Wagner's Pro Spray Generation 3 User Guide. The units we have in the range are the 3.21 skid, 23 skid, 25 skid, 25 high boy, 25 low boy, 29 high boy, 29 low boy, the 31, 34 and the 39. Located on the side of the machine is an inscription. PS stands for Pro Spray and 3 is Generation 3. The number on the side, in this case 0.34, stands for 3 4 thou, the maximum tip size the unit can support. All the units come with the 3 plus 2 guarantee. When you purchase any Generation 3 unit in the range, you will receive a 3 year guarantee. To receive an additional 2 year guarantee, enter online at thewagnergroup.com and enter your details. There's no additional cost for this extra 2 years. This is how you assemble the machine correctly. The items that come with the machine are a surge protector, 15 metre hose, pressure gauge, gun, tip and base, easy glide oil and pump saver, and a tool kit. First of all, attach the pressure gauge to the machine. Then attach the high pressure hose. Then attach the hose to the gun. Located in the handle of the gun is a filter. Remove the guard and unscrew the handle. Check the condition of the filter and then return it to the gun. It's very important to unravel the electrical cord completely. Attach it to the surge protector before you plug it into the mains. Located in the front of the machine is a reservoir for the Easy Glide oil. Remove the cap and insert the oil. Located on the side of the machine is a window to check the level of the oil. Before you start the machine, push this plunger twice. Located beneath the machine is a high pressure filter. Remove the filter and check the condition. When you return it to the machine, make sure the opening is inserted first. When you're using the machine for the first time, it's important to flush it out with clean water. Set the prime spray valve to prime and water will start flowing out of the return hose. Please ensure the tip and base isn't attached to the gun at this stage. Hold the trigger open and switch it to spray. The water should start to flow. When it's finished running, make sure the prime valve is switched to prime. Place the suction set into the paint.
switch the prime spray valve to prime and turn the machine on. Paint will circulate through the machine and then back into the drum through the fluid tube. Hold the trigger open, switch it to spray and increase the pressure. When paint is flowing freely, release the trigger. Switch it back to prime. It's important that there's no pressure in the line when you're attaching the tip. Make sure the safety is on and then screw on the tip and base. Turn the dial to increase the pressure. You can observe what PSI you're running at by looking at the pressure gauge. Apply a test spray first and if these lines appear, increase the pressure. If the tip becomes blocked, simply reverse the tip, spray and then turn it back again. And now we're going to run through the cleaning procedures. Make sure the prime spray valve is set to prime. Remove the suction set from the drum, allowing the paint to drain. Place the suction set into a bucket of clean water and the return hose to waste. This then can be disposed of thoughtfully. Make sure the prime spray valve is in prime, pull the trigger, then increase the pressure. This will return the remainder of the paint to the drum. Flush the waste into this bucket so you can dispose of it thoughtfully. Use a brush to clean the remainder of the paint on the suction set. Then place it in a clean bucket of water. Make sure the pressure gauge is registering zero before you move the filter from the gun. Detach the guard and unscrew the handle. Remove the filter and check the condition. It's very important when you return the filter to the gun that the opening is inserted first. Again, before you remove the high pressure filter, make sure the pressure gauge is registering zero. Remove the filter. Clean it thoroughly in a bucket of clean water so you can dispose of it thoughtfully. When you return the filter, make sure the hole is inserted first. Turn the dial to this blue section, which is the rapid clean position. The machine will begin to pulsate. This helps with the cleaning process. Replace the suction set into a clean bucket of water and then flush the system. Again, make sure the pressure gauge is registering zero and there's no pressure in the line. Replace the base and the tip and that too can be cleaned out. The tips can be safely stored in this tip clean bottle. The final stage of the cleaning process is to add about 10% of all guard to the water. 
circulate it through the machine and this will help to preserve it. Now we're going to run through the features of the 3.29, 31, 34 and 39. The prime spray valve is located on the side of the machine. Located in this cylinder is the high pressure filter. When you return the filter, make sure the hole is inserted first. Located on the side of the frame is a handle. When you turn this handle, this adjusts the tilt mechanism. Both the 3.34 and the 3.39 come with a removable fluid section. Set the computer to the creep mode so you can adjust the piston to the downstroke. Remove the return hose clamp. Unscrew the return hose. Release this handle. Then the fluid section can be easily removed. To put it back on, simply reverse the process. And now we're going to run through how you use the computer. Located in the menu settings is set pressures, volume pump, job volumes, unit serial number, timers, job timers, service time, and security code. Turn this dial to increase the pressure. Actual PSI is the pressure that's in the hose. Volume pump is the total litres of water and paint that is being put through the machine. Job volume is the total litres and paint for that particular job. The serial number is unique to every unit that Wagner manufactures. Timers is the total time that the unit has been in operation. Job timers is the total time for that particular job. Finally, you can enter in a four-digit security code. 